Hi everyone, and welcome to the Mathflex Pillar number three. What are we talking about today? Today I'm going to show you our Gaia 100 core maker. In detail, we'll see main machine sections, option and possible configuration, advantages and layout. Main sections of this actual configuration are unwinding section, plies gluing and lubrication, forming section, cutting area, and extra conveyor. Starting from the unwinding section, we have a very useful device helping the operator managing the mother rear loading. This pneumatical mini crane can load until 125 kilos and so is able to lift to the working position any kind of reels. Once loaded in position, each mother reel is loaded by a pneumatical out expandable chuck that not allow its axial movement. The winding control is designed with pneumatical brakes controlled by load cells in order to maintain the core web tensioning. Particular distance photo eyes inform the operator in real time about the time left before the splice. The auto splice can be performed thanks to a particular cutting and welding device that makes the joint from the old to the new reel. Plies gluing is performed by means of gluing guns that are able also to work with one ply only. In this case, dedicated lubrication is provided. Forming section consists in a couple of drums in vertical position. And the former tube runs until the cutting area that has an adjustable clamp. Knife rotates on a motorized arm according to the required length. As option is available, the dust suction device for the cutting area. At the exit of the forming section, a motorized belt helps the cores going through the way to the core accumulator scraping eventual cores with joints. From the HMI, it's possible to dialogue to the entire line and program the production according to the order's backlog, and so according to the Industry 4.0 requirements. In the configuration with single and wine stand, the machine has a footprint of 12 by 5 meters, and it is possible to have additional wine stands until four units. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next Mathlex Pillar number 4.